Bigger Phelps Campus Insiders with Mike Bray, head basketball coach, University of Notre Dame. July 2000, you arrive <laughs> at Notre Dame. Get into that day and that moment. Well, you know, Coach, the, the year before I tried to get the job and I just missed on it and Matt Doherty was hired, never in my wildest dreams that I think a year later it would be open again. Matt goes to North Carolina and, of course, there's a new AD, Kevin White, and I'm out here uh, within like weeks, a week after Matt left for North Carolina and uh, I've been fortunate enough to be here for 15 years. Just really powerful, you know, I mean, um, always watch your teams play when I was a young guy in Washington, D.C. and watch what you did. So I certainly knew of the program and um, to have the opportunity to come out after the year before, not making the cut, so to speak, was, uh, was really an honor. And, you know, I'm getting here 15 years and you and I have talked about it a lot. Uh, you know, it's such an honor. And it's so powerful to be p part of this very special place. And now you're in the best conference, <laughs> yeah. in my opinion. And here it is your second year. Yeah. And you finished in third place behind Virginia and Duke. Well, the first year didn't go too well. They poured, they beat the, up on us. So was it first I, 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 I can't I remember it either. It's, it's, you know, I've, I've dismissed it quickly. <laughs> but um, my biggest concern, could we establish the same identity in the ACC that we had in the Big East? A respectable, consistent program. Four years ago, um, you beat Connecticut their last game before the Big East tournament in store. Yeah. And then some guy named Kemba Walker shows up and wins 11 straight games in the national championship. I look out at Jerry and Grant, who's a fifth year senior, and knowing that the last three out of four years, it's been one of those combo guards that can drive, shoot, dish it, can make it happen. I just feel in the back of your mind, as it is in the back of my mind, let's go, we got a shot based on what's going on the last four years in college basketball for the NCAA tournament. We definitely do, and you were the first one that got me thinking about that. The first week of practice, I'm not thinking that far ahead, but you pulled me aside after the third practice and said, why can't number 22, Jaron Grant, be Napier, be Kemba Walker, and, and I'm- Peyton yeah, Seaven. Peyton Seaven. I'm driving home that night, and I'm trying to think like, what thrills are we gonna do the next day? <laughs> and, and But I'm driving home going, I think Coach has a point right there. So I couldn't agree with you more, and what he's done through the regular yeah. season, delivering at crunch time, wanting to take big shots, making the big pass. We absolutely have a shot because he is that kind of guard. Because I just feel this way. He can back to prove a point. Yep. And as a fifth year senior, you know what he's done in practice, you know what he's done in key games, and he can be the spark to light this fire for you to get a run at the Final Four. No question, Coach. You know, he's 22 years old. He's seen it all. You know, the, the best thing that ever happened to him was getting thrown out of here because he's had to grow up. He's come back a more mature young man. He's come back a leader. And you're right, there's a chip on his shoulder to make it up to people and his teammates in the program. And my gosh, everything he's done through the regular season, he's on that track. We believe, because you, you can believe when you have a guard like Jaron Grant.